welcome to our Uke Like the Pros daily ukulele lesson. I am Terry Carter. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support and sharing and following and subscribing to the Uke Like the Pros. And today we got a real special lesson. Lesson number two of our 23 ultimate chord progressions. And this is your one, five, minor six, four progression, which is Let It Be and about a million other songs. I'm real excited today because I got a music theory workshop tomorrow that will be online live from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that will be at youclikethepros.com where you can sign up for this workshop. And even if you can't make it live, it's okay because you can catch the replay of it. We're going to be talking about the essentials, the music, the ukulele, understanding the fretboard, how to construct chords, how to construct major scales, and of course how to play all those on the ukulele. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, if you want to grab the sheet music for today's lesson, ukulelepros.com under the master class. That's free to sign up. No credit card required, and you can grab not only sheet music for this lesson, but also many, many others that are up there. So, um, my children say hi, by the way. So, as I mentioned earlier, this is our one, five, minor six, and four progression. Now, that may be totally foreign to you. You may have no idea what I'm saying, and that's okay. We're going to talk about it, but just know that this progression is one of the most widely used progressions in all of music. And there is a, a video out there on YouTube, you've probably seen it because it was viral, uh, where these guys on uh, Axis of Power, I don't know if that's the right name, but anyway, they do a, they do a medley of basically all these songs that do this. One, four, six, or one, five, six, four progression, and you'll see there's there's literally hundreds of songs, probably some of your favorite songs you've got out there. So, we are live, so feel free to check in, say hi, ask a question, leave a comment, uh, love to hear from you, and know how you're doing. Our first chord today for this progression is gonna be our C chord, and that's just our, I like to call cowboy chords. Any chord that has open strings, I like to call cowboy chords. So they're just a cowboy meaning simple, meaning they would be the first chords you learn when you start playing any instrument, whether it's ukulele or guitar. But this is our C chord. I'm trying something new. I'm, I'm putting the chords on the, the screen. I'm not going over every potential fingering. The goal is that you can, whoops, <laughs> you can look at this diagram and understand what it means and start figuring these chords out yourself. And this would be a great time to chime in if, if that's something that you can't do and need like me to explain every fingering, such as open fourth string, open third, open second, and my third finger on the first string, third fret. If that helps, I'd be more than happy to do that. So, um, so the C chord. Before we do all the other chords, let's jump into the rhythm for this one because this one has a pretty cool rhythm now that it's not used all that common and so I'm real big on you looking at this but I've just put on the screen and understanding what it means and so first of all you see the chord above says C so it's a C chord and now these notes here these are the rhythmic notes this is telling you how to strum a lot of times the ukulele we, we strum with our thumb always strum with our first finger Since I did yesterday's lesson with my thumb, uh, finger, why don't we do the thumb today, okay? And so the first chord, the first note there is a quarter note, right? And that's a downstroke, and that's what that symbol like this, the upside down U basically looks like, and that's for guitar and ukulele means downstroke, and that's the quarter, so one. Then two, the and of two, three, the and of three, four, and the and of four are all eighth notes, and notice how they're beamed together. And those all get half of a beat, and so when you play them together, it's going to be two and three and four and. And on the eighth notes, we do go down, up, down, up. So this, what we're seeing on the screen, is going to go down on beat one, one, 
and then it's going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Now notice on the upstrokes, or maybe you don't notice, but I'm going to tell you, when you go down, you're going to hit all four strings of the C chord. Now on the upstroke, all you have to do is give it a quick little flick up. You don't have to hit all four of the strings. Actually, we kind of seem a little weird, so you just kind of flick it up. And a lot of times, I'll only hit maybe the first, second, or the first, second, and third strings when I'm doing this. All right, so let's let's play this rhythm that's on the screen here. One, two, three, four. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and that's the whole measure right there. And then it just repeats. Let's do it again. Ready and one, two. So that's one measure. Let's loop this measure now and repeat it. Two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Now one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. All right. Now, that seems easy enough, doesn't it? Even if you haven't been playing ukulele a while, this should be something that should hopefully be not overly difficult. But what the challenge comes in now is when we start adding different chords. Okay, so we're going to play the C chord for a measure, but then we also have three other chords we're going to play. So let me play it for you, just so you know. I'm going to put it on the screen here. So this is what we're playing. Three, four, and so it's C to the G chord. Same rhythm, A minor, and F, and then notice the repeat, I'll do it one more time, C, G, A minor, and F, and then C chord to end it. So, the second chord, A minor. Let me throw this one up. Oh, nope. I was wrong there. Second chord is a G. Forgive me. I'm, I actually literally ran into the house like it was 3.08 when I got home. So, it was a mad dash to get myself presentable and get myself here. So, I was down at the beach. Although I wasn't surfing or I wasn't hanging out at the beach. I was actually down at the beach working. But, uh, anyway, I'm here now. So, I'm excited to be here. So the second chord, this is probably the hardest chord of the group today, is our G chord. Not overly difficult, but the one that requires three fingers. All the other ones are either require only one or two. So here's your G chord. And that gets one measure also. So that's going to be the same strum pattern as the C, which is down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, if you look at the music here, Notice where it says G chord, instead of having a rhythm, it just has four slashes, right? So I'm looking right there. And all those slashes mean is to repeat the previous rhythm. So the rhythm's not changing. The only thing that changes is the chord. So the first measure is C. Then it changes chords to the G, but same rhythm. And so that same rhythm just down, All right, let me do a quick check here. I'm gonna check my feed, see who's with us today, and uh, say hi to for everyone out there. <laughs> yeah, there I am. All right, so I see uh, Chris is here, and uh, Gary is here, and uh, and I know uh, 25 other people are uh, have viewed it. So, but uh, thanks for checking in. Great to see you. Appreciate you being here. I know it's Friday and people probably have plans, so thank you for uh, for being here. I, as a matter of fact, I have plans too. I'm going to the, the Padre game tonight with uh, my wife on date night. So grandchildren up to uh, up with the grandparents tonight. So <laughs> all right, all right. Moving on back to our lesson here. Next, we got the A minor chord. So this one's fairly simple because it's just a one finger chord, also so A minor. Yeah, sure. 
really like this chord. All right, and this is gonna get the same strum as the other chord. So just down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then the last chord of the group is the F chord. Just a two finger chord here, F. And you guessed it, it also gets one measure. So just down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so can we put it all together now? What we have on the screen, C to G, A minor to F, no backing track yet, just nice and slow. I'll leave that F chord up for now. One, two, three, four. So C, one, Now one thing I just noticed is when you're at your A minor chord with all your second finger, in order to get to the F chord, all you have to do is put your first finger down. So keep your second finger there and put your first finger down. So that's a pretty easy move. A minor, add the first finger for F. A minor, add the first finger for F. So that's actually a pretty easy move. All right, now, that might be too fast for you. I mean, that might be too hard because you're strumming and then you gotta switch chords. And if you don't have these chords down, that might be a struggle for you. And that's totally normal. So don't feel like if you're in that situation, it's totally normal. So what you can do is simplify it. Okay, so instead of playing this rhythm here, start off with something easy like whole notes. Remember whole notes get one strum per measure. So just one, two, three. Give yourself time to get to the G chord. One, two, Three to the A minor chord. One, two, three, four, and F, two, three. So that's fine, do that. Once you get that down, maybe try half notes. Half notes gets two beats each, so you'll be strumming on beats one and beat three. So it'd be like this. Ready, and C, two, three, four, G, one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now if you got that, move it up one more step to quarter notes. So four strums on every chord. Three and strum two. And then if you got that, then we're moving to the rhythm here, which is down. Let's try this slow backing track now. This is 65 BPMs or beats per minute. Okay, so 65 beats per minute. Here we go. Three, here we go. And one, two, mm, and. Tap your foot, move your head a little bit, it's okay. Now repeat C and G, A minor, L. Simplify it if you need to. How about just chord notes? Still play with the beat, lock in with those drums. Back to the rhythm written here last time. And that last chord is Cowboy C. Alright, a couple of things here I want to talk about. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the screen so you can see my, my whole hand here. 
is really the strumming. So much of any instrument that, that strums chords like this, guitar, ukulele, mandolin, um, so much of this is about the right hand as opposed to the left hand. Now I know the left hand is... People want to play some fancier things and that's cool. But it really comes down to the right hand and this is controls your volume, controls how smooth something sounds. Okay, so there's really a lot right here. And the, most of the best ukulele players, guitar players that I know have really, really great wrist. Okay. And so what I want you to do is as I'm playing this, I want you to notice my wrist here and what it's doing. Okay, three, four, and I'm just gonna play the same rhythm for now. notice there is it doesn't matter what I'm playing I don't care about the strum pattern it's just how loose I am right and how how this is just real relaxed and my strumming comes right here from the wrist it doesn't come from the elbow right so I'm not I'm not doing this motion because notice what happens is my wrist is all stiff right I'm not doing there I'm doing it right here okay? and even though you may see my elbow move a little bit it's really right here in this wrist motion okay Is the key right there. If there's one thing you can get out of today's lesson, it's right here. It's all about the right hand. Okay, you can quote me on that. All right. Um, last thing I want to do before we play with the fast backing track is uh, talk about this this progression real quick. So we're in the key of C major. C major scale, which is something we'll be going over in tomorrow's workshop. <laughs> So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Alright, so key of C has no sharps, no flats in it. So, first chord is C, right? That's your one chord. C major, key of C major, first chord C, so that's your one chord. Then it goes to G major. Well, if you count up from C alphabetically, C, because that's your one chord, your, your key, D, E, F, G. No, that's just alphabetical. C, D, E, F, G. What is that? Five. So, the G is your five chord in this key. Then we go to the A minor. Well, just count up from C. Remember, count C is one. C, D, E, F, G. Got it in my other hand? A. What is that? Six chord. And it's minor, so it's a minor six chord. A minor. Then the last chord is F. So what chord is that? C, D, E, F. So what is that? F is the four chord. So our progression in the key of C is one chord to the five chord to the minor six. And just like that, you got a little theory lesson right there on our progression today. All right, I want to, uh, before we do with the fast backing track, I just want to give a shout out to uh, our sponsors today, <laughs> Koaloha Ukuleles. This is uh, the ukuleles that I do all my videos on and uh, the great people at Koaloha for supplying me with such beautiful instruments from Hawaii, all koa wood. And uh, I'm truly thankful for them because they're the first ones to really jump on board and support what I'm doing here at Youth Like to Pro. So thank you to them. Um, all right, let me do a, a check in and then we're going to uh, do it with a fast backing track. So this is why you want to see our hands in the video. Ah, yes. Yeah, so.
Gary is talking about uh, the videos that we do in our You Collect the Pros private group that we have where uh, we share videos with one another of us playing. And when I want to see a video, I like to see the whole ukulele and playing the right hand. So I can also not only just hear how the chords sound, but also see what kind of technique you're going on with the right hand. So exactly. All right, fast backing track here. This is uh, at, what is it now? 100, so 100 beats per minute. We're gonna do the whole progression four times. Let me get that back up on the screen. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Now, one last little tip here before I, I leave you for the day. When you're playing these faster tempos, sometimes you have to cheat a little bit. Okay, okay? so if we're going to play, play the C chord, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Well, notice we have an upstroke on an and a four, and then all of a sudden we got to try to get to the new chord G on beat one. That doesn't give us a lot of time to switch. And so what I'll do sometimes, especially when the tempo is faster, is I'll cheat just slightly. So on the and a four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So did you see what I'm doing there is on the and of four, even though I'm still strumming, I'm actually already moving my hand to the next chord. So if I do it slow, it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So notice I still hit it, but my hand's off the guitar, and I'm going to the next chord. I don't have to do it here for the F, because that's an easy transition. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that all the time, because it's going to sound weird at slower tempos, but at the faster tempos, gives you just that half of a beat which ends up just being you know partial second to get to that new chord okay there's our uh, lesson for today I think we're good on questions so thank you for being here I'm gonna uh, why don't we play it one last time with a fast backing track and uh, as always we'll see you next time all right here we go one two three and Science. See you in the next lesson. <laughs> uh -uh.